What's up again guys? Yo. This is the second part of my stats guide. Here previous points taken will be applied onto one of the most controversial topics in L2R history. Gear substats priority. But before we begin. Be sure to hit on the subscribe button for more great videos. Alright. Firstly. Only S grade gear and up have substats which is one for this grade. Two for R's. And three for SR's. You can always change substats via the forge menu. And it costs rubies. By the way. My first source on this was Fizdarth. A respected Hearthstone pro gamer. And practically one of the best game strategists out there. But by and by. You accrue and learn from more and more sources. And as natural selection goes. You need to develop something inspired by those that stand out. After a lot of research. And paralleling of derived info with the latest updates. This is my recommended substat priority chart. This is a general approach. But of course you can always deviate as you see fit. And again. Nothing is written in stone. These are the 25 substats that may appear on your gear. Physical and magical attack are considered as one. Because if you are not a mage. Picking magical attack is a bad idea. Likewise for physical and magical defense. Robe sets have higher magical than physical defense. Which is entirely the opposite of heavy armor sets. Though light armor sets have balanced defense. Across the board. It's natural to compensate on the defense stat that you lack. That's why the numbering ends at 23. These two stat pairs are consolidated. By the way. Not all 25 appear on each type of gear. Some exist in a few types while others don't. I'll show the specifics of that on a later chart. Anyway. I'm sure you've noticed the grouping. The grouping is what draws the lines between each stat's importance. Now. Let's discuss each group. Alright. Optional rare stats. Although all of them are generally good. Rarity is the reason behind the placement of these stats. But being rare doesn't mean that they should be placed high on the list. No. This depends on your build. If you're gonna consider getting any of these rare stats. This list shows the best places to insert them. Regarding HP Drain. It's excellent in PvE. Although not so much in PvP but still an overall good stat. For sustainability, it's the best among its class. To vamp. Or not to vamp. That is the question, and it's entirely up to you. Okay. Essential raw stats. Raw, as in raw power. This stat group is the biggest direct influence on your combat power. So it's a no-brainer that they should be on top. Anyhow. I've already mentioned earlier why these stats are consolidated in pairs. Essential PvP stats. If I was indeed spot on the first part of this guide. Penetration and resilience have been really declassified. And thus the fact lingers. This pair should be grouped with critical rate, resist and damage. So there you go. I put them high up on the pedestal. Next, essential common stats. Of course, you need this stat pair to make a fully functioning character. By the way, evasion is higher than accuracy. Because some character builds rely entirely on evasion. Mediocre common stats. By mediocre, I mean average or not bad. Like when you re-roll substats. And two of them happen to be essential raw or PvP stats. And the third one is from this group. I would still consider that a good reroll. And at the bottom. Crappy common stats. As the name suggests. 
If you have a gear with a substat in this group, re-roll it right away. In passing, since this chart is kinda broad in spectrum, its application may extend to other game features such as pet gear, cloak, gem, etc. Substats. Perhaps I can make gem substats the third part of this guide because I have complete data on that as well. We'll see. And now finally, here's the chart that lists each gear and the substats which may exist on them. This is similar to Fizdoth's chart, but with the strict application of my grouping principle that we've just taken. I hope you were able to set that chart in. Anyway, the September 29th update also introduced a new pet, or contraption, or whatever that is. Thus, a redux on one of my other guides. Advanced mount stats could be in order. But again, we'll see. And that's all there is for now. Also, check out other videos from Sabbath Clan Philippines and subscribe. Happy character building. Peace out, yo.